you're already wasting days, you're already wasting time. This is a day that you guys can leave this room and you can never be the same again. Bro, are you really yawning? Come on, give us 25 push-ups. We're gonna change your life and you're in here yawning. Yeah, you can count and listen to me. Why is he yawning? They banished me, never to be seen To a place where the years always feel the screams So hot that the land only grows So I don't like technology. I think that we need to go back old school. I think, honestly, this technology sh Most of you, you won't take notes. Like her, this, this right here, this makes me so happy. I know this sounds crazy. And I don't care who it is. Like, anytime I see this, I get really excited. And you may say, well, Andy, I, you don't understand how I learn. Listen, dude, think about this. Who in here likes the gym? Like the gym? Okay, cool. When you go into the gym and you don't put your phone, you don't put your phone on do not disturb, what happens? Notifications go off the whole time while you're working out. Am I right? What kind of workout do you get when notifications are going off constantly? People are calling you, emails are coming in, text messages are coming in, things are happening. You don't get to spend any time with yourself. The whole goal to go in the gym is get physically fit and also get mentally fit. So many people, they think that going to the gym is about like the way you look. Dude, going to the gym and the way you look is like super important for like your self-esteem, self-confidence, self-belief, like that. But dude, your mental fitness is the most important thing in the world. It truly is. It'll determine whether you get somewhere or you don't. Everything is about mental health. Everything is about your routine. Everything is about your ability to control your own headspace. You train your brain. You train, you train your life. Whatever you think is going to happen is going to happen. I know. You've heard this before, but you've never lived it. I want everybody to write something down real quick. I want you to write down the unlived life. And at 39 years old, I realized I ain't never even lived. I've been doing it all wrong. And I'm going to tell you the key. The key is who you become will determine what you get. Does that make sense? At 18, I get in sales. I never had more than $5 in my hand at one time, right? Bro, are you really yawning? Come on, give us 25 push-ups. We're going to change your life and you're in here yawning. Come on, bro. Come on, son. Hey, hey, listen. What we're going to do is I told you today's about mindset, right? Yeah, you can count and listen to me. You, he's listening to me. And he's like, I want to change my life because I know he does. But then he's yawning. Does that make sense? Why is he yawning? Because learning's a bitch. But being broke and not having your team following you and not breaking records, that's a bitch too, right? Him staying the same would be a bitch. So, like, I want him to fight his brain. I want when he's sitting there and he feels like yawning to say, well, hold on. Is this something I'm interested in or not interested in? Look, I want to tell every one of you right now, what am I going to tell you will change your life. This is a day that you guys can leave this room with me today and you can never be the same again. Or you can do what I did in school, which I went to school for X amount of years and I barely graduated. I never paid attention one day because I was uninterested in school. I wasn't interested, so I wasn't present. So if I'm talking to you today about getting rich, making a lot of money, being a good person, being a winner, if that doesn't interest you, then yawn. But if it does interest you, you have to tell your mind, I need to pay attention right now. There's times where I don't need to, but this I need to. So there's this thing called the unlived life, right? And that's where I'm going to get up to at 39. And I'm going to tell you guys, once I started to learn that I could learn from other people that were really successful, I was like, no ways. Like, no, like I, cause we used to have to read books. See, I got kind of lost. I'm one of these people where I go hard in the paint. Okay. You know, I know you know what that means. You, you get to work, you do the work, you put your blinders on. They, they say, Oh, Hey, did you see what that other solar company was doing? I don't care. I don't care. We're going we're to outwork them. We're going to outwork them. We're going to outbelieve them. We're going to be delusional. Them. We're going to outsell them. We're going to outclose them. We're going to outcare them. I'm like, we're going to do all this stuff. And that's what I did, but I never changed. I just kept working harder. I'm gonna tell all of you in here right now, you can work 15 hours a day. Can you work 24? No, you, can't, you can only work so many hours. So if you can't work any more hours, you have to get better. That's the only way to make more money. The only way to make more money for, this, for, for you guys as a group of people is for you to get better so the people you currently have on your team get better. The more that you get better, the more they'll get better, the more money they make, the more money you make. The more attractive you become, the better of a leader you become, the more people are going to want to be led by you. And now you're like, how do we recruit? What do you mean? You become a badass. You don't even have to recruit. I can walk into gym. People are like, dude, I want to work for you. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, I don't know what you do. I don't, I don't even care. You're up to something. I want to be around you. I like the way you carry yourself. I'm in. 
I'll quit my job. I don't care how much I make. I want to be next to you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. That's it. Dude, everybody right now, they're driving down the road, they're on their phone. They're sitting in their car, they're on their phone. They're out to dinner with their family, they're on their phone. They're on their phone, what are they looking at? They're looking for someone to look up to. That's what they're doing, man. You know these people are on social media looking for so somebody to look up to when they would rather have someone in front of their face to look up to. How cool would it be right now if I could say, hey, who are the top three people you look up to on social media? You can go work for those people right now. You, you can go hang out with them every day. If you like David Goggins, I'm like, you're gonna hang out with David Goggins every day. You're gonna go work for him. That's, that's your new buddy. You're like, hell yeah. That's it. You gotta be that to someone else. You guys gotta become someone in this world where everyone's asleep, and that's how you guys are gonna pass everybody. I don't care who's ahead of us. I don't even care about the numbers. What I care about is how fast can you change. That's why you gotta pay attention today. So at 18, I never had more than five bucks, right? Well, so my first day at work, I make $1,700. So immediately, my blood starts operating differently in my arm. I'm like, okay, whoa, wait a minute. This is my way out. So I realize this is my way out. Now, I don't know how much money you've made in this company, but I'm going to tell you this. Once I learned that automotive could make me money, I asked a simple question. How much money can it make me if I become the best? Because I was always interested. Now, now I want to be number one. I go from being a loser to now I want to be number one overnight. Simple decision. They tell me 125 grand was what the top guy, remember guys, won 1999. They say 125 grand top rep makes in the country selling cars. Cool, by the time I was 19, I made 125 grand. I learned real quick, whatever they told me I could do, I could do because now it was my first like life in business. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to be poor no more, right? So like now I'm like, dude, I'm gonna get a car. I'm gonna have a place to stay. You know, my families are losers. And by the way, who in here is going to be a first generation millionaire? Who wants to be a first generation? See, everybody look around, see all the hands. First generation, who's going to keep their word? See, I want you to know something. That hand, if you raise it and you're not willing to listen to me right now and change, you're not going to become it. How old are you now? If you said you're going to become a first generation millionaire and you're 25 right now, you could have already been a millionaire by 25. If you would have paid attention from the time you were freaking graduated to now, you would have already been a millionaire. You're already wasting days. You're already wasting time. When will you draw a line and say, dude, I ain't gonna do that no more. Now, if you can do this, now you do it with your team. Dude, every single person that you guys come in contact with, you're like, dude, you have no idea who you are. You have no idea. And they're like, dude, why does this person talk to me this way? Like, why do they make me feel like I'm capable of being great? Hey, and by the way, I will hit you in the dick. I will say, dude, that routine is for losers. And that right there, you're not a loser. So don't act that way again. I do not like that. It's unattractive and I'm not interested in it. Do you want to operate that way? Do you want to lower the standards in your life or raise them? I want to raise them. Okay. Do you think what you just did raises a standard in your life or lowers it? It lowers it. All right. We're not going to do that again. And by the way, if I didn't care about you, I wouldn't have told you. But the fact that I told you shows how much I care about you. You know, that's what I was saying. Like, if you had food on your face, would you want me to tell you? Of course you would, but most people won't because it's awkward. I'm the most awkward person, and that's a good leader is awkward. Hey, put your chest up. Hey, look at me in the eyes. Hey, don't talk like that. Don't say can't. Don't say I'm not good at. Shut your mouth. You need to listen right now. Now's the time to grow. And people say, oh, man, that guy's, yeah, direct. If we're going to walk on eggshells around each other, we're all just going to be, you know, like, oh, I don't want anybody to judge me. I don't want anybody to think. We're never going to grow anything big. We're just going to sit here and waste our time. we got to be direct. Being direct, sometimes people get their feelings hurt. But when somebody gets their feelings hurt, it's normally because they don't understand the other person's intentions. So being a leader every day is telling your team, listen to me. And by the way, you have to ask for permission. So if you're going to be a great leader, if I was, if I was going to lead you guys, I would say, hey, number one, I'm not as good as I should be. And I want to say I'm sorry to every single one of you because you guys deserve the best leaders on planet Earth. You guys do deserve the best leaders. And that should be me. And that hasn't been me. So number one, I'm sorry. Will you guys forgive me? Yes or no? We'll say, yeah, man, I'll forgive you. Okay, cool. I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to make a commitment from this day forward. I'm going to become great and I'm going to push myself harder than ever. You can take that to the bank. Secondly, I have another question. Can I ask for permission? 
As I'm going to change myself and go into another level, I know that we're family. We're more than just a company, okay? I know that some of you guys are here. Some people play for a, a game, some people play for a season, and some people play for a career. I know you guys are here to play for a career, okay? So as I go to change, I wanna ask a question. Can I have permission from you guys to positively peer pressure you? Negative peer pressure would be do drugs, go drink. I'm gonna positively peer pressure you guys to become something you've never become. And I wanna push you hard to max out your potential. Can I have your permission to do that with you? I'm gonna do it with me, okay? But can I also do that for you? And secondly, I wanna say something, listen to me. From this day forward, I can push you, you can also push me. If I do something that you don't like, I want you to tell me. Because I respect you, I appreciate you, and I never wanna do anything to hurt you. If I ever do anything to hurt you, I want you to know it wasn't by intention. It was on accident. It was because I might try hard and I might make a mistake, but I want you to know I wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm not too good to learn. Just like I ask you to learn, I also wanna learn. Do you guys see what I'm doing? I'm creating an environment. People will never become better than the environment they're in. Do you guys wanna create badasses? What kind of environment are they in? What kind of environment do you guys create for your team to grow in? You're the one responsible for growth or, or death. You know what chokes out the growth and the financial growth of every company? Leadership. It isn't the team, it's the leadership. Because if the leadership creates the environment, who, who lives in the environment? The people. The better the environment, the faster the people grow. So once I got to where I start making some money right here, I'm like, oh dude, now I wanna start breaking records. Now some of you guys in here, who's been in solar for more than a year? Okay, if you've done it, I want you to write down on a piece of paper how much money they told you that you could make selling solar if you got good. Write it down. I just wanna know what, what you think it is or what you've been told. I know there's the unlimited, but that's not what you think because I probably could look at your pay sub and it would probably tell me what you think. In 1999, they told me it was 125 grand. I had a new manager come. You know what I love about a new manager? You know why today's training matters? Because the only way that you'll be different next year from this year is new experiences, new information, and new people. If you guys stay around the same people all the time and you never take any new information, how the hell are you gonna be different next year? You can't, you can't change, you can't recreate, you can't have a new identity, you can't have a new methodology, you can't create a new routine, therefore you can't create new results. Does that make sense? Does everybody get that? So I had a new manager come in, he says, hey man, 225 grand is what you can make selling cars and I got a pay stub in my glove box. Remember that deal on like Wolf on Wall Street? He's like, show me your pay stub, I'll quit my job right now and I'll come to work for you. Well this guy's like, dude, come here. And back in the day, people used to use their glove boxes in their cars. That's where they put all their shit. And they would pull, pull it out and he showed me his, his pay stub. And it was like 225 grand was year to date. And I was like, I'm gonna hit that this year. See once, I just had to know, it was like the four minute mile. I had to know it was, was possible. Again, by the time I was freaking 20 years old, I hit 225, 250 grand. I started to learn really quickly. I'm stupid. I'm not very smart. A lot of you are way smarter than me. You know what I am though? I'm good at learning if I'm interested in something. You know what I'm interested in? Getting rich at this age. I was poor my whole life. I, I said, who wants to be a first generation millionaire? My family has never had a millionaire in my family, never. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't that guy was like, I wanna be the first person to go to college. I'm like, bitch, I wanna be rich. And I didn't wanna be rich, I'm a poor people, I'm a poor person with money. Just so you know, if you guys, if you guys get to know me, I am a poor person with money. I'm not rich. I don't like rich people. I don't have conversations with people that have money and normally can get along with them. I'm a dog. I am an underdog. I, uh, I think I'm, I'm poor. I think that I'm gonna lose everything today. I think that everybody's gonna take everything from me. I'm not afraid to start over. Matter of fact, it excites me to start over. If somebody was to bankrupt me overnight, I'd be happy to start tomorrow. I would do, I'd build it twice as fast. I'm addicted to the grow. I'm addicted to the grind. I'm addicted to having my back against the wall. I'm addicted to it. So anytime that you guys right now are thinking, oh man, this is hard. Dude, what do you want it to be? Easy? Dude, if it's easy, you're gonna go nowhere. You're gonna be a loser. The easier it is, and by the way, that's why you intentionally do hard shit. That's why you wake up and go work out. That's why you cold plunge in the morning. That, that's why you have conversations with someone that you don't really have to have a conversation to because you're running your mouth all day long, doing the hard shit that no one will do. You care more than everyone else. That Doing the hard shit pays off so much. Let me show you a magic trick. Okay, all of you guys right now, I could go back and I could say, hey, show me your last thousand days. 
Show me your last 500 days. I, I'll tell you, you want me to tell you what your life looks like right now? I don't know who he is, but I could go back over his last 500 days and I could say, who have you been hanging out with? Where have you been hanging out? What have you been doing? Show me your routine. Show me what you eat. I can guess his body fat percentage. I can guess his bank account. I can guess how many people's lives he's changed. I can guess everything. Just by seeing his last 500 days, I can tell you exactly what's happening today. That's the cool thing about being in here today. So you guys can decide what is your next year look like and then you can also decide what am I going to make my team's life look like this next year. Dude, when you guys become this, you create a hero making machine. I want you to think about what I just said. A hero making machine. That's what this company could be. This isn't a solar company. The product is solar. Everybody needs it. It's easy to sell. We educate people. We have a pay plan that makes us a lot of money, but really our goal is to develop people and to build an army to retain optimize and then recruit hard. The sexier you guys become, the more attractive you become, the better at speaking you become, the more we're gonna attract people. You guys gotta be the honey, okay? That's the, that's the secret. And when somebody gets around somebody that changes their life, they'll never leave you. Write this down, people will choose the mentor over money every day, okay? They don't want money. They, they say they do because they don't know what they want, but once they get a mentor, they'll give up money for their mentor every day. And by the way, when I say an environment, look at the military. Why would someone die for someone else? Because they know they would do it for them. Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you wanna level up in life and business, then one thing you gotta do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor Hostage Tape is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, You've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. The leader's job is to make sure that everybody on the team knows that everything that they're asking them to do, they would do for you or you would do for them. And you show them and you exercise that you would do it daily. There's this thing called like a circle of safety. Whose job is it to create the circle of safety in which your, your team lives in? Cheers. Only you can, listen, what is trust? Is trust like um, something that a boss says? Listen, you gotta trust me. You gotta trust me. No, trust is a feeling. Trust is a feeling that when you spend time with the leader, you know that you can trust them. And that's why you're willing to die for them. How do you think a relationship grows? By trust, not by saying, hey, I love you. I'm never gonna cheat on you. We're always gonna be together. Those are words. I've been through 500 of those where we broke up. I need to feel that I can trust you. People, you think they're not very smart, people are actually extremely smart. Another deal, people are resilient, okay? When I talk to someone, I'm gonna tell you me for a minute. When I talk to someone, I'm like always like, tell me the worst thing you ever did. I'm like, I'm not playing. I wanna know something that you would never tell anybody and I want you to tell it to me faster than you've ever told anybody. Why? Because to me, that's what's gonna tie us together. I'm gonna push you harder than everybody, and because of that, I know that you're dangerous, and we're gonna use that as a leverage to prove that's not who you are, okay? We're gonna recreate together. I can look at your eyes. I can tell who the leader is just by looking at your eyes. Dude, do you guys wanna work for good people? You guys wanna work for savages? You wanna work for somebody that's not afraid of anything, that's willing to go into war for you, that'll freaking take a bullet for you? Yeah, and you'll do the same for that person when you meet them. Life is so crazy. We all have to go through all of these things. All of y'all's journey, I could ask you to blueprint and write down your whole journey up here. Everybody has their own guide to how they got to where they are now. I promise you, you don't know a lot about each other in here. You think you do. You know the surface level shit, but you don't know the deep shit. See, a good leader is with somebody and understands them and loves their dark side. Being there for somebody when it's hard is more valuable than being there for somebody when it's easy. Okay, I want you to understand this. If you really wanna be a leader, real leaders, when it gets tough, they're there. Hey, I don't care what's going on. You're broke, good, you need money, let's go talk. Tell me what you need, I wanna go through it with you. You're having a hard time. 
Your mind is mentally messed up. You don't want to tell nobody because, tell me, I want to know. I want to know everything about you. I want to know you. You matter to me. I want to know when you're lost. I want to know when you're confused. I want to know when you're scared. I want to know when you're uncertain. I want to know everything. There's no tricks between me and you. Why? Because if I can truly get to know you, I can help you your entire life. Do you want me to be your battle mate or just to be your your boss? I'm your freaking battle mate. So my job is I need to understand you and I need to get to know you and I'm going to be there with you on the highs. God, we're going to make a lot of money. But dude, when you crash, I'm the first person you call. Now, don't complain to me because I don't deal with complaining. If there's a problem, I want you to tell me, but we're going to have a conversation about how to solve it. We will not complain. Don't ever come to me. Matter of fact, you'll never complain because you're not a loser. This is how you build your team. Could you guys imagine if you could speak and talk this way, what kind of team you'd build? Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.